I have an HDR contest for you on this video and I'm also going to announce our live stream with Gaming Tech today it's going to be 10 a.m. at the LIDA time or 6 p.m. Uh, central time here in the US we're gonna try to fix HDR gaming <laughs> in one live stream let's see if we can do it so the contest I have for you um, it is easy I'm going to give you the settings so if you have an LG OLED I'm going to give you three set of settings for cyberpunk and you just need to tell me which one looks better to you <laughs> so we're gonna use cyberpunk we can use a different game like Watch Dogs Legions so there are many games that have the same issue I have here Immortal Phoenix Rising, Overwatch 2, Watch Dogs Legions, Cyberpunk, uh, Red Dead Redemption, like <laughs> the list just goes goes go on and on. Uh, we can even name there Forza Horizon 5, but let's use Cyberpunk, okay? Because Cyberpunk is the ultimate broken HDR game that looks absolutely amazing <laughs> when you actually nail the settings. So Cyberpunk HDR in my opinion can be the most beautiful HDR period because the game is super colorful especially during the night is you know the lights are popping with different colors and it's just beautiful but the in-game slider doesn't do what it's telling you at all <laughs> so if you think oh my LG OLED is 800 nits so you set the slider to 800 nits <laughs> the game is going to do something else so you need you have to take a screenshot when you set the in-game sliders you have to take a screenshot and you have to open that screenshot with the HDR WCG image viewer app so here's the contest I'm going to give you three sets of settings if you have an LG C1 CX or C2 uh, or you know it's even a um, C9 I don't know if the C9 has the fine-tuned dark areas option uh, I don't think so I think it started on the CX but even if you have a different TV I'm going to tell you how you can figure out the black level values so you can try these three options that I'm going to give you on this video so let me know which one looks better to you this one or this one <laughs> I think it's very clearly it's very clear to see that this one looks a lot better the only difference between these two images that's why I want you to see uh, to do this test so you see it for yourself so instead of giving you the the best settings I'm going to give you three options I want you to try these three options that I'm going to give you and let me know which one is better what which one is the winner and the price of this contest is going to be I'm going to give you this, the shout out, so I'm going to do a video, I'm going to say, hey, you're the winner, you're the best, and then I'm going to ask you for the content you want from me on, on the next video. So basically, if you win, I'm going to say, this user was the winner, and you give me the explanation, yeah, you tell me why do you think one option is better than the other, and then you can ask me for any specific kind of video so if, if you want me to talk about you know I know how to build a gaming PC I know how to you know diet sleep exercise I know how to play the guitar I know how to you know martial arts uh, whatever you want from me if you've been following me you know that I do a lot of stuff or if you want me to just analyze a specific game whatever you want me to talk about I can do that video for you as a price okay so here are the three sets of settings and I'm going to explain you a little bit of why these three settings are going to be almost exactly the same they are going to look very similar it's going to be very difficult to determine which one is better so we are going to use three brightness settings on the game itself okay so the first one is going to be the in-game slider the maximum set to 380 okay so with that game slider set to 380 
the game is going to try to output 525 uh, the max CLL is going to be 525 550 okay so with that setting what we are going to do and I'm gonna have this on the description of the video what we are going to do with this setting is full on the Nvidia control panel limited on the TV okay as simple as that then we are going to have another setting which is going to be 600 so the in-game slider 600 and for that setting we are going to have full on the Nvidia control panel full on the TV and we are just going to lower the black level using fine tune dark areas to minus 16 okay and the third option is going to be half on the GPU limited range okay so limited on the GPU and you're going to force full range on the TV okay so when you do that you get a black level race so you're compressing the image on the GPU and the TV is just displaying it as it is so then we're going to use fine tune dark areas minus 30 and screen brightness 41 let me just make sure that's the value uh, yes so no I'm sorry so it's going to be fine tune dark areas minus 30 and screen brightness 44 okay I'm gonna have that on the description so you have that clear so fine tune dark areas minus 30 screen brightness 44 you force full on the TV but the GPU is unlimited and on the in-game slider you're going to set the maximum peak brightness to 900 okay three options three options tell me which one looks better to you they are going to look exactly the same <laughs> okay so they are going to look very very similar and I'm not going to tell you the midpoint so you tell me the midpoint for each setting set up the midpoint and you tell me that setting I'm not gonna give you that <laughs> so make sure you take a screenshot you open that with this with this app so you get the max CLL so you know for sure that the game is trying to output the maximum peak brightness of your uh, display when we have limited when we force limited on the TV and the GPU is in full the max CLL is 525 530 and with that max CLL the TV is going to output the 800 nits okay and when we have the GPU unlimited and we force full range on the TV the max CLL that we are looking for is 1200 nits basically 1190 max CLL so that's like 1200 nits okay so I'm going to have all those details on the description. The only thing you have to do is try these three sets of settings and tell me which one looks better to you. They are going to look almost exactly the same. So it's going to be very difficult to determine. Now, if you have a different TV or if you just want to understand why. So if you try these three settings, you're going to be like blown away like this looks exactly the same <laughs> how is this possible three completely different settings the game is going to look exactly the same you're going to scratch your head and and think how is this guy figuring out three set of settings that are completely different and they look the same how is that possible so the settings are different on the TV on the GPU <laughs> on the black level how I figured out those three settings that are exactly the same because I am not figuring out those settings by opening the game I am using test patterns I am using grayscale's text test patterns so I know for sure those three settings are the same <laughs> it is not a guess I am not guessing to guess to get those numbers so if you have a different TV I'm going to explain you uh, a little bit how you can arrive to that conclusion okay so we are going to use near black test patterns first and we are going to use the Windows 11 Auto HDR the HDR calibration app 
to make sure that the peak brightness for HGIG is correct. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open that near black test patterns. So we turn on Windows HDR and we can open that near black test pattern on, on YouTube or you can open it, uh, the one that I share with you, which is a video. So if you open that video, for example, let's, let, let's work with that. I'm going to have the link on the description to, to the near black test pattern. So turn on Windows HDR, max out the SDR HDR slider because that video is on SDR. So you open that video, what you have to do on your TV, if you have a different TV, is force limited on the TV. So when you force limited, the entire pattern should be visible. It should be just visible. Like if you lower the black level, one click is no longer visible. It should be barely visible, perfect. Especially that left, top left corner. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go back to auto, which is full. So you have full on the GPU, full on the TV. And then you're going to lower the black level of your TV until you have the same near black visibility as you have on limited. Okay, same. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna use both. So you're gonna use limited on the TV and you're gonna use that uh, black level. And with that setting, you can open any SDR game and it's going to look fantastic. Any SDR game. So turning off, turning off the native HDR and turning off auto HDR from Windows 11, okay? But in this contest, I'm talking about native HDR, okay? So these settings that I am giving you, I figured it out, especially with that near black test pattern, okay? So then, you are going to use just force limited for the first option. Then for the second option, you are going to use the near black, so the black level value, that you discover by using the, the test pattern. And for the third option, what you're going to do is you force limit it on the GPU, you open this video that I'm talking about, this near black test pattern. And what you're going to do is you're going to lower the black level until you get the same result you were getting with double limited. So let me explain. When you have full on the GPU, you force limit it on the TV, and you lower the black level too, so you do both, you will see that the pattern, the near black test pattern, is going to crush, okay? So you're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns counting from the right, and from there you're crushing. So what you have to do, when you have limited on the GPU, you can no longer force a limited on the TV. So you just, you can only lower the black level, okay? So what you're going to do is for, force full on the TV. So you will see the black level is going to be raised and you have to lower that black level until you get the same result as double limited, <laughs> okay? I hope that was um, clear. I'm going to have all of that in writing on the comments. So you have precise instructions. And you are going to realize that this 530, if you have an LG C1 or if you have a different TV, you're going to find out what is the max CLL that is going to clip when you force limit it on the TV, okay? So when you have full on the GPU, you force limit it on the TV, you are lowering the max CLL necessary for the display to output its maximum peak brightness. So the way you can figure that out is easy. Full on the GPU, limited on the TV, open the HDR calibration app, and that maximum peak brightness, you're going to raise that value until you see the logo clip. And that value, let's say it is 600. Okay, now you know that you want the game to be 600 uh, max CLL, okay? And for Cyberpunk, that's not going to be the 600 <laughs> max uh, brightness on the slider because the slider is just wrong it's doing something completely different so of course your tv needs to support hgig for this but there are some lcd uh, oleds uh, i mean some lcd uh, lg that they support hgig and other brands also 
that are different TVs. And that's the way you can figure out these values, okay? So that's it. Uh, just uh, stay tuned uh, and watch the live stream and see how it goes. And if you have any questions, just let me know.